Hi, Claire here from English Academy 2000, and I promised today we would talk about improving your output in English or your speaking and writing in English. One of the reasons it's so difficult for people to use a new language is it's scary. If you make a mistake, it will affect how people communicate with you and how people see you. So people tend to get nervous when you're speaking in a new language and that's when we make mistakes. So the best way to practice in English when you're learning is to find situations that will not make you nervous. The first way to start is to find no risk situations. This is an opportunity to use English where even if you mess up, it will be okay. One very easy way to use English where it's okay to mess up is if you're not actually talking to a person. Start by just thinking in English. Your regular thoughts you have through the day, making a list of things you need to do or a shopping list. Start trying to use English inside your brain as you are thinking the thoughts that you already have. A way to practice conversation without having to talk to somebody if you live in a place where English is spoken. Go to a cafe, go to a place where people are sitting and talking. Um, when I lived in China, I would go and take my computer to a cafe and um, sit and put in headphones so people don't know that you're listening to them and listen to normal conversations. Pretend that you are a part of the conversation. Think about what you would say. So use the opportunity in regular everyday conversations that people are having and think about what you would say if you were in that conversation. Because you are not really in the conversation, it's a way you can practice without having to be nervous. Once you get to where you're comfortable, you want to start practicing out loud in English, find low risk situations. These are situations that you can use your English with an actual person, but if you make a problem, it's not going to affect your life or your relationships. The best way to do this is find people you're not likely to see again. Practice speaking with a taxi driver or um, the checkout person at the grocery store, somebody who you see for that moment and probably will not see again. Even if you make a mistake, it doesn't really matter. Another way is you can create situations to talk to people that are not real. For example, if you live in a big city, find a place where everybody knows, a public library, um, a favorite restaurant, Go on the sidewalk a few blocks away and ask people for directions. You can say, hi, excuse me, can you tell me how to get to the library? When they give you directions, you can thank them and wait till they go away and ask somebody else because everybody will give you a slightly different response to the same question. You can practice having a conversation and listening to and trying to understand their answers you probably will not see that person again. And since you're not really lost, you get to practice your English without a lot of pressure. For a little bit more advanced English, this one might be a problem for the person you're using to practice, but as long as you don't take too much of their time, it's okay. You can go to a place where people usually ask and answer a lot of questions. For example, if somebody's going to buy something that costs a lot of money, oftentimes they will go and ask a lot of questions and not buy it that day. Go to a computer store or even a car dealership and ask questions about the cars or the computers and practice having conversations about, you know, the qualities of the things that they could buy, how much money things cost, what benefits that you can get for spending more money on this model versus that model. And you can practice having a conversation using your English and then tell them you need to think about it and that maybe you will come back.
just don't come back. Again, you might waste a little bit of their time, but as long as you don't spend all day asking questions, it's a nice way to practice, especially if you're already out running errands and going near these places anyway. Take five minutes to stop in, ask a few questions, practice conversation, um, and then you can both move on with your day. Again, since this is not a real situation or something you're not really needing to buy, there's very low risk for you if you make a mistake, and that's a way you can practice getting more comfortable using your English in everyday situations without having to be so nervous about if you mess up. Try to find opportunities to have conversations with people that you maybe will not see again so you can practice without having to be so nervous. See you next time.